champ in great shape. Look at that belt. Like I told you, brother, if you're going to be a champion, you got to party like a champ, you got to work out like a champ, you got to live your life like a champ. Ruckus, the 22nd overall CZW World Heavyweight and Champion. Arguably the best. You know what? You can't deny his record. He's untouched lately. You can't even touch him. He held his own. Some argued that he would have beat Mike Quackenbush last month he if he didn't turn into that tag match. He would have. He defeated one of the greatest champions we ever had in Messiah. Yeah, he did. Messiah was a great champion. He sure was. Was is the key word, though. I look at Ruckus. He has completely metamorphosized his body over the last several months. That's something I haven't seen out of Ruckus in several years. Bottom line is, like I said before, party, work out, you got to be like a champ, baby. You know, I've talked about pivotal matches in guys' careers. I'll go back to April the 7th, 2001, a pivotal match that Ruckus had with Trent Acid, in which he lost the match, but some people didn't think he deserved to be in that match. But not only did he hold his own, he came so close to winning where Z-Bar, who managed Trent Acid at the time, pulled Trent Acid, pulled one of them out of the way, and wound up screwing Ruckus over right at the end. And it was in that match there where the fans got completely behind and realized we got something here at CZW. And from that point on, it's been a love affair with the fans at Ruckus. Yes, exactly, and you talk about a guy who's been loyal. Yeah. The guy who bleeds that yellow and black. Yeah. You look, oh, yeah. You got two champions in, in Derek Frazier, and now, of course, the world champ. This is their company, man. This is what this is where they want to be. Oh, yeah. They've had offers to go other places. Oh, most definitely. And they, and they always said, nah, man, this is where I started. This is where I need to be. Look at this. Look at that. And when you talk about Frazier and Ruckus Jungle, that two guys that practically broke into the business together. That's that right. Now, Out I mean, Maryland, how proud is it? it? Yeah. How proud does it add, is it to be Ruckus and Derek Frazier? They have that common bond between them, you know? That's right. Like you and Bryce when you first broke in together. You were not talking about Bryce right There's now. Bryce. You were yeah. looking for him. Uh, yeah. How do you feel about Bryce refereeing? I don't like it. Ruckus is mad. I don't like it. Nice, nice. Lucha Libre being shown here by the generic one. Now Generico hits the ropes. Oh. Wow. Agility, great agility. That's great agility, and that's real pretty, and it's real fancy. Oh! Topek and Hilo! Topek Khan, hello! Yeah. That'll get it done. And El Generico, I don't know if you want to get into a high-flying game with Ruckus, because Ruckus' no. roots is as a junior heavyweight wrestler. And with all, with Ruck is getting in better shape and everything, you know oh, yeah. what I mean? Me working out with him in the ring, he's, he's starting to get a lot of power. I remember he deadlift, deadlifted me up for a suplex. Wow. Let me tell you something. And I'm a big boy, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. My man, he's getting that power back underneath him. Hey, you're like me, we like to eat. Hey, man. I love a good meal. <laughs> you're not the only one. I love several good meals. <laughs> Look at this, the crowd. The crowd. Oh, really nice leg, like Larry. Kick out. Looks like Generico right now, though. Has a little bit of advantage on Ruckus. Maybe caught him off guard after that Tope Conil. That could be, when we look back in this match, that could be the move You're right. that turned the tide. You're right. And El Generico is so lethal with that brain bust star. Exactly. As he, likes to he call can it. hit it from anywhere, man. Absolutely. But look at Ruckus, baby. Those strikes, baby. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Ruckus has wrestled a lot of familiar opponents as of late, but El Generico, real different to anybody that he's ever wrestled before. Lucha roll right there, drop kick. They don't call him the generic luchador for nothing. No. The same afternoon that El Generico was making his debut here in Combat Zone Wrestling at High Stakes 2, you guys were beating the Hate Club in a steel cage match. Yeah, that was uh, a night. Those were the days, huh? Yeah. Big oh. back for you. Any word on Robbie? I, I didn't get a chance to go to the phone. My priorities are pretty messed up. Split leg and moonsault. Right now, I'm looking. I was looking for Bryce. I was looking for Claudio on Hero. Yeah. I gotta. I'm call him after the show. I have to call Sabian to let him know. I. I. I think Ruck, Ruck has called Sabian. Yeah. To let him know what's going on. You know what I'm noticing here about El Generico. El Generico is not trying to to soften Ruckus up or work over a body part. No. He's going for his normal finishing moves early. He's trying to get. get oh, he's going for that. Half See? Nelson, Again. chicken wing, that almost like a millennium suplex done by Tiger Mask. Mm. All right, form shots, watch this. This is the hotness. I like to call this the hotness. The hotness? Ah, you know what that is. There, there it is. Go. The bottom line is, like you said, Ruckus is now going to start taking on guys that he's not too familiar with. The bottom line is, that's what makes a great champion. You take on all comers, whether, it's, whether they're from Japan, whether they're from Canada, 
Whether they're from fucking West Bumble, whatever. Tijuana. Exactly. Yes. This is how you defend the title. That's how you make it a world title. There it is. That famous are there. And you know, I got it. I got to admit, King. I wouldn't be very comfortable with a guy named El Generico walking around with our World Heavyweight Championship belt around his waist. I did right now. CZW. I did right now. I know you weren't comfortable the first time you saw Ruckus with the belt. That's but true. But if you deserve it, you deserve it. But let me tell you something. Nice Japanese arm jack follow through. It's going to be hard to take it off Ruckus. Yeah. And you know, King, I, I am so proud of Ruckus. A uh, very little known fact, the very first show that I ever did commentary on, pre-CZW, I was on the same show with Ruckus. It was one of his very first matches. And Ruckus actually sat in and did commentary with me in one of the matches. And I didn't even realize it until years later when we started talking. And we said, hey, you know, and it's just so great to see Ruckus come such a long way. Come a long right. way together, you know. We're talking about him and Derek Kramer, him and I. We had yep. our first shows together, you know, in our, in our respective positions. Watch this. He's going to go for a shooting star, maybe. No one does it better. No. Oh, oh no, yeah. he blocked. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow, Marcus just comes up with new stuff, non-stop, that's why he's the champ. You don't even know, you're his partner, you don't even know half the stuff he comes up with. Hey, brother, it's all instinct, here he goes. Gonna be going for the Sasuke special too. He loves it. No, spin, twisting body, press. And look, he's on his feet. Oh yeah, he's just getting started. Give it up. He's just getting that's started. Champ. The champ is back. It's been a very emotional afternoon for the champion. Without a doubt. And this just shows you how much of a pro he is, man. I, I stress that word professional. Yeah. And this just shows you how much of a professional he is. Absolutely. I know he suffered a little bit of an eye injury. Yeah. Uh, uh, earlier on in the day in his uh, tables and ladder match. That's right. Uh, for those of you that don't know, that are just buying the tape, Ruckus just did wrestle earlier on a tribute show to Chris Cash. And he was the last match on the show, which means that obviously he's smarting a little more than somebody else yeah. would have worked, worked the opening match. Of the but show. again, that word professional pops up. This is what we do, Gargiulo. As professional wrestlers, this right. is what we live for. And Ruckus being the champ, he lives for these title defenses. Yeah. Because this is, every time he wins, it's like a wrestler putting another notch on his belt. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll tell you a little something about Ruckus. Ruckus blew out both of his knees in May 2002 oh, at high stakes. Against Chris Hero. And against Chris, absolutely. And Ruckus came back the next month to oh. the best of the best. No complaints. Didn't, didn't answer a doctor's note. No. That's the kind of competitor he is. I mean, but, guys, now they blow out their knees. They're out for six, eight months. This guy no, came back less than four that's weeks right. later. And that's why he's a champ. That's why he's a pro. You understand, man, out here, I don't know, you know, people buying this understand the difference between the big one, the big promotion, and the independence. Yeah. This is our lives. Yeah. This is what we think about all day. You don't have a contract. No. Got to improve. Here he goes again with it. The right ah! The right in the lower back. Hard form smash. It's the best Razzle Dazzle I've seen since Zandings at Tournament of Death. That was insane. Oh! Yakuza kick! Ruckus got it. Ruckus got it. Ruckus got it. I hit him with a couple of those. He got it. Kick out, Ruckus! Now I thought, I thought Generico may have went for a split-legged moonsault and then followed up. Yeah. Maybe not. Let me tell you something, like you, like you pointed out earlier. Generico's hitting his moves, yeah. getting the pin. The whole point of a wrestling match is to get that win, especially a title match. Absolutely. El Generico may be goofy and ha ha ha, but he's also a very smart wrestler. He knows you gotta pin the champ's shoulders down. Can't win by DQ. Oh, and he misses. Can't win by count out. Absolutely. Generic going out up. Generic going drops down. Oh, Millennium. Oh! He nailed it. That's what he said when we were watching matches together earlier on. He said the object is to win the match. Just go. If you're in a title matchup, don't waste time. Go in there. Go for a pin early. It doesn't matter if you go for go a for pin in the first minute of the match. Exactly. I like that. One of my idols is Raven. Yeah, me too. Come underneath. Nicely done. Hold on to the arm. Watch this neck breakup. Whoop! <laughs> you're like Chris Burke over here. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. Ruckus is on a roll, baby. If you start coming up with fancy nicknames out here, I might have a problem. Yeah. Maybe I could call it a Greco-Roman neckbreaker. Yeah. Listen to these fans. Who would have thought this would have happened anytime soon? I'm telling you right now, ever since uh, Tournament of Death 4, it's been nuts. I, I just... And he's still the same wrestler out there. 
We He's all are. Ruthless. We all are, brother. You got to stay with it. Oh, no. Oh, no. He could be going for it. Go, Julo. Oh, no. He's got him hooked. Come on. Come on, Ruggs. Block. Nicely done. Oh, throws him off. Nicely done. Oh, hard shot. Oh, he's going up again for that free bus star. Tenacious. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Could he be setting him up for the Falcon Arrow? Yes. Yes. He nailed Good him. night, sweetheart. Good night. One, two, three. He got him. What he's a the champ. What a win. They have to understand is that these two men know each other very well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So maybe El Gen he, I know El Generico knows him better than he knew Ruckus. Oh, yeah. So in my opinion, so I think he, he's going to change his game plan because he knows this man. He's wrestled this man before. They're running buddies. They travel exactly. together. They're tag team partners. But you know King as well as anybody when there's a title on the line and it's about putting food on the table and oh, that's it. It's over. There's no, there's no way that friendship gets in the way of that. Sooner or later, it does come down to providing for your family, feeding your kids. Right. You know what I mean? Having money in your pocket when you leave the arena, which is very rare. But <laughs> that's that's how it is on the independence. Yeah. Absolutely. And a title can mean can mean so much for you. Well, a title, especially you know, as, as prestigious as the Iron Man title. You understand? CCW titles are very prestigious in general. Right. But you get the Iron Man title, here comes more bookings. People are more impressed that yeah. you're an Iron Man champion. That if you could be, if you could be a champion. In, in CZW, people recognize that and oh, they're impressed. Wait a minute, look what's going on here. Is that a, that's a sign of disrespect? I think it's a complete sign of disrespect. These guys actually debuted together at High Stakes 2. Seems like we're talking about High Stakes 2 a lot tonight, but they also debuted in the afternoon portion uh, of High Stakes 2. I'm sorry, it was the evening portion. Yes, with that sick forward. Yeah. With XS, XS69 and Sexy Eddie. Yeah, big shout out to Sexy Eddie. Uh, he got injured a couple weeks ago, uh, cracked basically all his front teeth. Wow. And uh, got a little concussion. the match he had with you? No, I was actually against Kevin Steen, believe it or not. Oh, okay. So, just a little, you know, a little shout out. I hope he gets well. Amen to that. Now, wait a minute, King. We're used to seeing Kevin Steen extremely aggressive, but he, he's laying back a little bit. Do you think it has to do with the fact that he's in there with, with his friends, somebody he's oh, got respects? Without that, also, too, you have to understand, he probably knows so he knows a lot more about El Generico than we do. Yeah. He probably didn't have to study a lot of a lot of his matches. Yeah. Like if I got in the ring with Steen or with El Generico, I would have to study up on their matches. Oh, I'd love to see that. Get their tendencies down, you know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. But these two have wrestled each other so many times, travel with each other. They know they already know each other like the back of their hands. And this is, has to, this has to be a big match for Generico because Generico title match or not, if you come out of this match a loser, that's two in a row. And he may not be back. Exactly. And if he does come back, it'll be a, a long time before he gets another title no, opportunity. Yeah. And you gotta remember, everybody, you know, believe it or not, there's a lot of guys, you know, sending in tapes, trying yeah. to be part of CZW. We also have a lot of the students working their butts off to be part of these main shows. Yeah. I mean, look at Nick Gage. It's taken Nick Gage two and a half years to get another world title shot. Exactly. So. And Nick Gage, is, you know what I mean? Like we always say a lot, you know, this guy, CZW, that guy. Right. He was the first ever champion of CZW. Absolutely. Absolutely. You look at franchise players, you're looking at him and Justice Payne. Yeah, he put it on the map. He put us on the map. And Generico now, and, and, and I think this goes back to something I talked about a little earlier, King. It looks like Generico taking a different approach, not going for the fast-paced moves, not going for a quick pity, pity predicament, going to work Steen over, work over a body part. I think he's going at it a little differently. Well, what I've noticed is that Steen only has one arm pad on, and that's on the right arm. Right. Well, now he's going, he's going to the left. Maybe he knows something more than I do, maybe. Because a lot of times when your elbow gets, you know, bruised up or infected or anything like that and it swells up to a right. point where sometimes you can't have your elbow pad on right so maybe he sees something maybe he knows something about that left arm that i bet you, you don't you know. always take your elbow pad off and you're gonna give a lariat oh that's to show the people it's coming <laughs> and kevin steen looks like he's getting a little bothered by this and I would have to think right now the match is in the favor of El Generico because we see Steen and he's usually aggressive yeah. following up and a lot slower paced, a lot, a lot different than Steen's used to. You know what, I have to agree with you on that. It looks like Steen's just trying to out-wrestle him. And you know what, I, I don't you know, blame him for that strategy. He is Mr. Wrestling and you know, I give him a lot of credit. He, know, he can get on that mat and he can go. He is a wrestler. Oh, absolutely. 
went very far, very deep, and best of the best. Yeah. This year. Did he make it to the he made it to the Yeah, he made it to the finals, finals. the four-way final. He made it to that that final, and like you said, the TPI final. And that, you know what I mean? It yeah. takes one a lot of heart, a lot of stamina, and you have to be a good professional wrestler to go to do that. Oh yeah, you just can't get that far by accident no. or by luck. Steve, five foot ten, two hundred and nineteen pounds. What a powerhouse he is. Yeah. It's like a truck, brother, yeah. when he hits you. How about that package pile driver? One of the most devastating moves in wrestling. Yeah, and I mean, talk about it from a wrestler's point of view, because some of these moves, you can maybe tuck your head and take a little bit of pressure off, but with a package pile driver, you have no protection No, you whatsoever. have nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. There's a bad move by Generico. You should drop down. There you go. You got him hooked up here. Could be going for a dragon suplex. Oh, yeah. No, Generico spinning out of it. Nice. Right to Very innovative. Track. The Luchas, generic luchador. Lucha showed the pop, be paso. Another kick. Ah, big mistake, King. Big mistake. Ah, there you go. You can't play around with a man like them. I think the fun and games are over. Without a doubt. Oh, Quesadora. No, he's going for a pin right into a prone hole. He's Nicely good. done. He got all the weight on him. Nicely fired. Nice right into another arm jack. Holds on. Nice deep arm jack. Like you were saying about the package power driver, real simple. Right. Yeah, you can't tuck your chin. It's straight impact. That can one create a sting or two, it could paralyze you. Right. Either way, you're not getting up from it. It's a very scary move, I would, I would have to. And think. it's it's very effective. Yeah. There's no way, no one, I have not seen anybody kick out of that move yet. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe I'm wrong, who knows, but as, uh, as whatever I've seen, no one has kicked out of that move yet. I would love to see Kevin Steen and Eddie Kingston. That's what I would like to see in there. I would love to do it. It would be a great honor to get in the ring with uh, Kevin Steen. I uh, talk to him in the back and everything like that. Great guy. But right now, I got... But like you I get in there before. and bust his face, wouldn't you? Oh, of course. It's all about that dollar and that title. Right on. Nice. Right to Toria door. Nice like Larry. Oh, Generico nailed him. But the thing is, brother, one... Only a one count. The thing is, I'm, right now, I'm occupied with getting Hero. Yeah. A lot of issues there. I've only explained very little of them on the expose and on right. up here and in the ring. But let's get back to this match. We and you will talk later after. You Absolutely. Know what I mean? King, you got to agree with me here when I say that this match has been completely in the favor of El Generico. Oh, without a doubt. And, and you know what? I'm surprised by it. Kevin Steen having an off night, but we've seen it in professional sports. It was just one week ago where the Eagles were down, what, 18 points? Do we have to mention Going the into the second quarter, Do we have had the, one of the greatest comebacks in the history oh, of the game. It's the greatest maybe, comeback because it's the Maybe Eagles. the second greatest comeback since the miracle of the Meadowlands. You gotta bring that up. Wow! And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Look at that big man fly. Pescado. Oh, he's amped. Kevin Steen was he down 18 points in the first quarter, and now he's coming back. You want to stop with the Eagles references? The Giants won last week. whoop de doo Wow. Wow, you're going to get hit. <laughs> I'm leaving. I need a bodyguard up here. I'm about to put you in heroes category, you know what I mean? But Steen in control. And Steen now picking him up by that mask. Look at this, look at this. What power. Vicious, though. Not like a cover. Not like a regular body slam. You know, the guy picks him up, drops him down. He put it, he put more force behind it. Right. Oh, he's upset, and now he's showboating. And you can tell Steen is way more aggressive than he was in the beginning of the match. You can tell he's upset. You can tell El Generico took it to him, but then it only takes that one slip up. Right. Ah, Doma, and there it is. Wow. Oh, he got him good. I don't chop the nachos good. right out of him. Oh, he took off his nipple. <sighs> You can sell it on eBay. Wow. And oh. listen to these sickos chant for one more time. Oh! Kevin Steen's up. Wow. And Generico has been completely taken out of his game at this point, King. I mean, oh, nice punch in the face. I mean, right now, Generico had everything going in, in, his, in his favor, and he's completely taken out of his game. And right now, it looks like the fear factor could be coming into play. Watch this, he says, wow, another arm drag. Great defensive maneuver. He is so oh! elusive. Yakuza. Right to the chest, I think he got him there, but I can knock the wind right out here. That's it. Oh! There's the chop for you. That's just a jerk chop, that's what that is. Well, that's just being a jerk. He's just unrelenting in there. Asking the fans. What a kick to the back. I think I saw a lot of them during your match. Yeah, I'm gonna be pissing blood for a while. 
to be honest with oh. you. I may not like Akuma, but God, he can kick. That was a brutal match. Shot to the midsection, a couple Look shots. Look at him firing back up, though, Gojo. Look at him. Oh, absolutely. Oh, stepped on his foot. Advantage. Whatever it takes, right? So it's that flip. No. Oh! Double stop. Oh! That's it. Good night. Ah, he got out. I'm surprised by that one. I thought it was over, knocking the wind right oh out. Oh, my him. God. How's he? Well, right back to the gut, knocking more wind out of him. Very smart wrestling by Mr. Wrestling. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you got to be good when you call yourself Mr. Wrestling. I mean, you're just asking for trouble then. Yeah, and I, you know, I, mean, I wasn't a fan of that at first. My first seen him wrestle, but it's grew, he grew on me. He can get down there. He can go. Oh! And again, back to those chops. And these guys are friends. Imagine if he didn't like them. Yeah, I would have been bad. Yeah, that would be good. But look, now Steve's taking it to him. Oh, yeah. Dean, I think, realizes, yeah, friendship all aside. I got to ride with them back home. Big whoop. Right. The thing is, he's trying to take away my money, trying to take away my meal, trying to take away the title. Absolutely. And he noticed in the beginning, in the middle of the match, that, hey, this guy's trying to win. This guy's yeah. trying to take my title. Quite a trio. Whoa. And now, you know what I mean? The, cho the tree of Joey Lawrence. Whoa. Right. We're thinking the same thing. We may not be saying it, but we're thinking the same thing. Drop kick him. No. Oh! What a drop kick. Oh, did he catch him in the penis? He may have. Oh, that's bad. He definitely caught him in the pelvic area. Yikes. Oh, now he's just choking him. And he's on the ropes. Look, now look at Logan. Man, I don't believe I'm saying this. Oh, I mean, look at that. He's right on that. Great job by Logan. Well, that's a first. Somebody document that comment. <laughs> it's on tape, folks. Yeah. Kevin Steen following through. And Kevin Steen King doesn't seem real concerned about scoring a pin at this point in the match. No, now he wants to beat him. And I don't blame him. When you get in there and you're on a roll, you want to beat him. Abdominal stretch, time tested, mother approved. Right in the center he has of that. To take ring. that for his elbow and dig it right into his ribs for more pain. That move used to be used as a oh, yeah. Tony Onoki used to do it. But the octopus. The yeah, the octopus right over on. the top. Yeah. It's an effective move. And a lot of wrestlers, you just talked about it right there. There you go. Getting a there. lot of the veterans, they would exploit it. They would, they would, they would shoot shots to the rib, elbows. Yep. The Von Erichs used to claw. I have nothing to say. Oh, kick right to the face. But like you said, I, me I remember hearing you say, I remember also too reading, Luthez used to be very weary of that move. Right, right. As the NWA champion, people want to get stupid. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Not go by the uh, plan, so to speak. Absolutely. And he used to try to get out of that. He would never let anyone get him in that. Argentina Rocca oh! made that mistake in let California. Me, that's right. Let me tell you something. Look at, wow. Ah! He's working on his midsection. Went to the abdominal stretch, the double stops, too. I think Generico made the mistake of taking this match tonight. He's just getting the hell beat out of him. It's smart, though, Mr. Wrestling, focusing on the body part. Wrestling 101, folks. Wow. Oh, he's over. Lands on his own to the guardrail. Oh, and that's a shameless plug. That's just, that was timing. It was. Chill. Oh, he's going to fly. Oh. The generic luchador. That's actually called the leap of faith. Taking a page out of the book of the great Sasuke right there. Wow. All that was missing was the handspring. Well, Ruckus does that, so. Right. Don't disrespect the champ. Right, absolutely not. El Generico has things in his favor, but right now I think he's wasting too much time, King. Now you gotta hurry up. You're in there with the champ, brother. You gotta get that win, like I said, man. I look at dollar signs. You win, you get more money. Right. You go to the pay window. You gotta capitalize on the opportunity. Watch this. Big splash! Snooker style! Oh! The guy had to hurt Generico. Look, he's clutching at his abdomen. Oh, absolutely. He's taking a lot of shots to the abdomen throughout the match. Remember, oh, he, just, he just spent, what, 30, 40 seconds in an abdominal stretch in the body scissors? Not, not the smartest move, but effective, but it also hurt him. You can go for that Millennium Suplex, I like to call it. Very similar to what Tiger Mask does. Mm. I don't know, he throws him off. Dragon suplex? No, not now. He's trying, fighting out of it. Elbow. Comes underneath. He got him. Maletti. No. 219 pounds. So powerful. So hard to get up. Look at that. Enzagare. He's calling for it. Oh, no, he gets out of this. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, he he, he got out of it. What are you going for here? Could be going for like a flip arm drag. No, DD. Oh. Boy, into a big oh. I'm surprised, King. I thought it was over. 
These guys have to be going up pure adrenaline right now. Wow, what a short, a lot of heart there, El Generico. What a move by Steen. What a reversal by Steen. Oh, tremendous matchup right now. It could go in anybody's favor at this point in time. Oh, man, it's out. He has to go for that package power driver now. What is he going for here? Generico is just so tired. Driver? No. Oh, he got out another arm drag. Watch out for the Yakuza! The Millennium! That's it! Bring it up a new champ! New champ! Oh! What a battle kick! And we're not even halfway through the night! I have to wonder, the amount of punishment that Generico has absorbed, will that be the difference? Will he not be able to capitalize on opportunities like right now because he is just tired and he is uh, and just aging? And look he's holding it. Yeah. This is, that's what happens when you work on a body part. Here he is signaling for the brain buster. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Maybe that's super. Can he get him up? He got him up. Okay, I stand, I stand corrected. He's going for that super brain buster. Oh, no. There's another one of these moves that, man, you get hit with this, you're done. Mm. Steen's out. Oh, Ooh, super what a headbutt. headbutt. Neck blow style. No! Yakuza! He's going to nail it, King! That's it. He hit no Steen's fighting out. Oh, my God. Front splash. 295 pounds. How oh. is that possible? He got him. That's right on it. his ribs. Good night, Irene. No, fights out. Back, Bobby, backslide. No way. Oh, he had him. I... Oh, the kick to the gut again. Oh, he's going for it. Rainbuster. No. Hooks up Dragon Suplex with the release. Oh, he nailed him. Oh, it is. It's over. Good night. Package pearl driver. Oh. Itchy, me, son, it's done. What a matchup. What a title to fight. What a tremendous match. What a tremendous matchup, King. As a wrestler, you have to be up here salivating at seeing a matchup like that. You have no idea how I am about this matchup. Joey Ryan, a, a big Hillary Duff fan, from what I understand. Huge Hillary Duff fan. As a matter of fact, I understand he dedicated his title win to Lizzie McGuire herself. This one has the potential to be a show stealer. Of course, with El Generico, the generic luchador who made his debut at High Stakes 2, part of that tremendous Canadian matchup that just stole the show on that afternoon. El Generico has had some big matches here at CZW, but in title situations has been unable to get the job done. Had one of the most overlooked matches this year with Ruckus for the World Heavyweight Championship, one of my favorite, as a matter of fact, my favorite Ruckus match thus far in 2005 was, was the match that he had with El Generico. Joey Ryan wants a test of strength. And how huge would this be for El Generico to win the Pro Wrestling Gorilla Championship at the Cage of Death? I mean, we have press here from all over the world. I was talking earlier to reporters and photographers from Australia and England, some here for the very first time. A lot of press in attendance. I mean, quite literally, CZW's Cage of Death, the biggest independent show in the country on an annual basis. There is not another show annually that has the kind of hype and the kind of following that a Cage of Death show has. I mean, fans alone, I was talking to fans that flew here from Scotland, fans that drove here from California. There was a couple that drove here from Utah. I mean, anything to get out of Utah. Some former Cage of Death competitors were emailing and calling me and asking me about the show. Been a lot of buzz going into this one. Big arm drag out of the generic luchador. Back elbow. Standing bootsaw.
That has been the M.O. of the generic luchador. He loves to wrestle a fast pace. El Generico hits the ropes. Puts the brakes on. Joey Ryan slides underneath. Big right hand, Joey Ryan with a forearm. Joey Ryan, El Generico. Big leg lariat. Not enough. And again, the Pro Wrestling Gorilla Championship on the line. I'm very excited about this. I've always wanted to call a Pro Wrestling Gorilla matchup. I didn't even have to leave Pennsylvania. And again, things personal between El Generico and Joey Ryan. As I mentioned earlier, Joey Ryan defeated El Generico in controversial fashion at the Straight to DVD show for Pro Wrestling Gorilla. What a chop. El Generico, his second cage of death. Last year, a part of the cage of death, teaming with Kevin Steen, the man that Joey Ryan defeated for the Pro Wrestling Gorilla Championship as they lost to Super Dragon in Excalibur. Quite honestly, we have seen nothing but grudge matches over the last several matches here, and that seems to be the pattern throughout the rest of the evening. With the exception of Chris Saban and Kevin Steen, we're looking at all grudge matches. Big standing drop kick from the Pro Wrestling Gorilla Champion, Joey Ryan. Ryan a little upset with the count of Bryce Redsburg. Snap Mare. Joey Ryan with that chin lock. Cinching it in. And you really can see the game plans of both El Generico and Joey Ryan at this point. Joey Ryan trying to slow down the pace, wrestle a more methodical, technical style, while El Generico trying to quicken the pace, wrestle more a fast-paced, high-flying, athletic style. Kick to the midsection. DDT, oh, a block. No, a Northern Light suplex and a bridge. And while I'm not very happy that I don't have Eddie Kingston here on commentary, I would love to have Eddie Kingston joining me here for the biggest night of the year. I am happy to see that he is here tonight and in attendance. Big kick out of Joey Ryan. Shot to the midsection. Forearm smash. Duking it out. They must have realized they were in Philadelphia. The home of Smoke and Joe. Big step up, Ed Zagiri. Out of the ring. Tope! Nate Webb and Sexy Eddie standing by, looking for revenge. You know that they are saying to themselves right now, please just end this matchup. We want to get out there, and we just want to fight. Both men who were in last year's cage of death. So the pressure of wrestling on a cage of that show, nothing new to those two. It's all about two guys who, yeah, they can get in there and wrestle. They get in there and fly. But when it comes right down to it, they're fighters at heart. I mean, when you wrestle inside of a cage of death match, you are never the same. A part of you stays there. Sexy Eddie and Nate Webb have not been the same since last year's cage of death. 
and I feel real sorry for that whore, Pandora, in just a few moments. Joey Ryan with a clinch, a couple of knee strikes, keeping Generico in that clinch. Big kick, miss, big clothesline, and another. Total the world backbreaker, this our first of several title matches for the evening. A cage of death, there's always something in the air. A title has changed hands. I'm gonna go on record here and say that a title has changed hands on every cage of death. El Generico with that moonsault plancha. Will it be Joey Ryan's pro wrestling gorilla title? Will it be Derek Frazier's junior heavyweight championship? Will it be Hero and Constantioli's tag team championship? Or will it be Ruckus? A man who has never won a singles matchup, but has never won a matchup at the cage of death. A man who has been involved in more title matches at a cage of death then I'm gonna guess anybody here tonight, maybe with the exception of Justice Payne. But unlike Justice Payne, he has lost them all. A lot of history here tonight. There are a lot of fans when Combat Zone Wrestling first announced their first key to death that never thought it was gonna happen. And there have been fans over the years that never thought we would get to two or three, but tonight, you are witnessing history as Cage of Death number seven. Will it be the unlucky seven for somebody tonight? I have to think it will be. High cross body, rolls over! Joey Ryan, standing switch by El Generico. Scoop, sit down with the Michinoku driver. El Generico shaking it off. The time is now for El Generico to strike. He's gonna go for that brain buster. He's revving up the band. Yeah. No. Super kick. So close. Joey Ryan holding the back of his head. It is, it is possible he may have suffered a concussion. Big forearm smash. And another. El Generico plants the DDT. Big Yakuza! Schoolboy, we're gonna have a new pro wrestling gorilla! No! Joey Ryan, power bomb! <laughs> Joey Ryan picking up the challenger in this special attraction pro wrestling gorilla championship matchup. Joey Ryan has him hooked. Oh, wait a minute, we're gonna see the brain buster. Ryan blocking. The mustache ride. The mustache ride. That was a bumpy ride. What's he doing?
What's he doing with the belt? Joey Ryan now going for a chair. Wow, these fans letting Joey know what they think of him. Joey now going for a chair. Joey Ryan, there he is, the cheater! The cheater! That's what we were talking about. I can't believe El Generico kicked out, and neither can 1,000 people. Going for another belt shot. Joey Ryan with a schoolboy hold of the ropes. We would like to thank Joey Ryan for participating tonight in the Cage of Death. This contest, scheduled for one fall, 45 minute time limit, your referee, Nick Papa Giorgino, and his brother CZW, World Heavyweight Championship. The ultraviolet beef for the CZW Heavyweight Championship. Well, this is probably going to be one of the most interesting challenges for Masada to date. I mean, most of the challenges have been coming at him almost in the same style as him. Generico is a very, very different style than Masada is used to facing. I always see Masada showing a little bit of compassion there, shaking the hand of Generico. He knows this is going to be a great contest. And Dustin, what would you do if you were El Generico and you were stepping in the ring with the world traveled superstar that is Masada, the reigning CCW heavyweight champion? Let's be honest, Masada is a world traveler, deathmatch machine. El Generico should be very, very, very scared right now. Well, El Generico, this might be impossible, should be very careful not to piss off Masada with his antics. If he can, if, if El Generico can dictate the pace of this match, he has a shot at defeating Masada and getting the CW gold tonight. But if Masada, Right there, you see it. But if Masada has it at his pace, El Generico doesn't stand a chance. Two men about to restart the match, I guess you could say, at square one. And I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure what happened, but you see Masada's shoulder and arm is taped up on his right side. That could come into play later in this match if El Generico attacks the arm of the ultraviolet beast. Masada on the side, headlock and fly on the generic luchador. The ultraviolet beast has been shown in recent months that even though he's used to brawling and getting ultraviolet, he can grapple with the best of them. Well, look at the list that Masada has defeated his champion, Michael Elgin, Devin Moore. Oh, wow! Impressive! But he couldn't get that leg up quick enough. A six foot four man leaping up and rolling up El Generico with a Hurricane Rana. El Generico is stunned. That's his country's move. Now, Dustin, if you're in Masada and you're dealing with a man with the speed of El Generico, perhaps the hottest free agent in all of wrestling today, what would be your strategy going in against him? I would say surprise is always the best form of attack. Masada can use his brute force. That'll be to his advantage also. Right now, Masada using that brute force to back El Generico up into the corner. One, two, three. Oh, huge shot from the ultraviolet beast. Second shot, third shot. And there's Generico coming in again. It's on fire. Two, three, four. 
Quesada even covering up. Oh no. After last month, I think Masada might be a slightly changed man. Is the only man he hasn't been able to beat since becoming world heavyweight champion is Joker. Yeah, and there's that speed of El Generico. Lost to Joker has to be. Oh wow! Running into Masada's mind. Masada, man who hasn't defeated since May of 2012. Oh no, here we go. El Generico off the ropes. My interest in what he had in store for Masada, but Masada. Masada. There's that mean streak. There's those anger issues that Masada had. The world champion has gently been able to control that in the ring and not get too out of control when he's in there. But we've seen Masada, corner of death this year. He shouldn't have competed in that match in the finals. He still came out on top. No. I mean, Masada, there's something, there's something not really right about Masada. Something's not sitting well with Masada right now. I'm not, not taking anything away from El Generico whatsoever, because El Generico could be a CCW World Heavyweight Champion any day of the week. Come here, one, two, only a two count. There's Masada now back on top, showing his dominance once again. Oh, yeah, taking nothing away from El Generico, like I said, maybe the most sought-after free agent in all the world right now. But... He's dealing with Masada, and Masada maybe still has, like we were talking about, Joker on his mind, and you can't take El Generico lightly. Well, this is where Masada wants the match, on the outside. Masada now, back in El Generico, up into that corner. Masada, evil intentions in mind. He's choking the life out of El Generico. It was a blatant choke. And El Generico being unconscious right now. Dustin, this is a side of fans like to see Masada, but if you're against him in the ring, what kind of feelings would you have running through you? What kind of emotions would you have seeing a man this large, this angry? Well, let me tell you this, you're going to be feeling a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety. But El Generico's first mistake was trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Masada. Masada's too strong, and then he let him take him to the outside. That's exactly what Masada wants. This is another place where Generico might not be exchanging blows with the Ultra Island Phoenix. Wow! El Generico, actually, he's probably pissing off Masada right now. I don't know if you saw that earlier, but... Every time Masada threw that steel chair into the ring, El Jericho instantly threw it out. And that just upset the old survival beast. Well, you gotta go into survival mode here against Masada. He's a big, angry man with extreme levels of talent. That's why he's the world champion of this company for the past six months. And he is gone undefeated for the last 16 months. El Jericho going off the road. High knee taking out El Generico. Cover here, one, two. Only a two count. Masada is stalking his prey right now. I'm not sure, you know, all the men El Generico's wrestled, I don't think he's wrestled, he's fought anyone quite with the personality disorder that Masada has. A man who shows no compassion for his opponents. There's just something that's very different about Masada than any other competitor. I mean, hell, he hasn't lost a match in over a year. Not many people can say that. Yeah, you can. What you have to watch out for is El Generico's speed. He can catch Masada by surprise. And once again, survival move by El Generico, making sure there's no weapons for the world champion to use. You, how smart of a strategy do you think that is, Dustin? Every time a weapon comes into play, Generico thwarts that effort by Masada. It's self-preservation at this point. He knows that chair is going to hurt a lot. And like you said earlier, when you spoke of compassion, and Masada showing no compassion. No, wait a second. There's going to be no victory. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. This match on his terms. And this 
this crowd is tributing the Bouncing Souls, who, if I can name drop, I know your drummer might. My foot hurts. <laughs> I'm not sure what your foot hurts, but Masada's whole body hurts right now after that Tope Con Hilo by El Generico. And El Generico's not done now. Quick and in the pace again. And we got to cover your one, two, and throw! Only a two count. So close to a new CCW Heavyweight Champion by El Generico making his return to CZW. El Generico now. He might be taking a little too much time here. Head of steam and met with a big shoulder from Masada and off the rope. Look at the clothesline. Oh, that was another back elbow. Kick to the face. And El Generico now. Oh, Masada using all of his weight to reverse the cover. One, two, and only a two count. Generico just able to get that shoulder up before the count of three. But Masada still hangs on to Generico. And Generico just seems to be a little bit quicker every chance. There we go. One, two, and only a two kill. New Thunderbomb like maneuver by El Generico, who had to, who wasn't able to lift the Masada up straight up. But once he got a little bit of momentum, he was able to lift up the world heavyweight champion. And you can see that took something out of him. El Generico right now has to reach down deep inside of himself if he wants to come out of this big time heavyweight title match with the world championship. El Generico now has both arms locked, but Masada just powering them into the corner. Those shoulder blocks. And that's exactly what Masada needs to do to slow down the pace. Oh, no, we saw this. We've seen this in the past. Oh! Sit down, power bomb, but only getting a two count. An interesting dynamic you see in this world title match. Masada has been using a completely power-based offense, and El Generico has been trying to hit something high impact. We've seen it twice. He succeeded one time, but he hasn't worn down the world heavyweight champion enough, quite yet. But El Generico has to use his speed in this one because he can't match power with Masada, and it's been proven. Oh no, this could be it. This could spell the end of the Masada World Heavyweight title reign. He's trying to go for that patented brain buster. Oh, but Masada fighting out of it. And this is not good for Generico. Oh, oh wait, Generico is still hanging on for dear life. Trying to fight out of this. And does so. Damn, yeah, Masada just let go rather than try to take those blows from Generico. Whoa! Oh, is it Generico? Oh, man! Wow! Taking off the world champion's face! This is what Generico needed! Tequila Sunrise Lake Suplex by Generico, and he's going for that. No! Masada, free buster of his own! Masada. Just running on pure instinct right there. Reversing into that brain buster. Masada was so quick on his feet there. Able to reverse that brain buster. But you see it took a lot out of him too. That kick to the face. He had one surge of adrenaline after that. But now, both men fighting for the CCW world title. Both men now groggy but on their feet. Hitting themselves simultaneously. Masada! Uh, trying to get some fire here. But Masada catches him. Oh, another brain buster. And another cover one, two, and kick out after two. Look at the resiliency of the challenger, El Generico. Want to leave tonight with another collection of gold in his career. The most prestigious championship he would ever win, the CCW title. But the world champion has to capture. Generico, Masada, both catching a breath in the corner. Oh 
no. Generico caught on this. Oh! Exploding! Exploder suplex into the corner by El Generico. Generico shocking the combat zone. Getting them on his side to take down Masada. Oh no, Masada sidestepped it. Holy crap! Trapping him right on his neck. And the champion. Impressive. No shame. 